Cardiovascular disease, the number one killer of Americans. But did you know that people of color are disproportionately impacted by heart issues? Joining us this morning, Dr. Lee Kirksey, a vascular surgeon with the Cleveland Clinic on some of the signs, what to look for, how health experts are hoping to spread awareness as well. Thank you for coming in. Sure. Thanks for having me, Todd. So you're gathering all these doctors coming up uh, the 19th and the 20th That's uh, of this month to, yeah. to talk about what's new in the development of treatment and things yeah. like that. And a lot of times... As, as doctors, I know you guys are busy all the time. To be able to get these minds yeah. together and talk has to be a, a great opportunity for you. Huge opportunity. I think it's a function of the Cleveland Clinic. A lot of people are willing to come to Cleveland. It's a world-renowned center, um, but we're partnering with the Association for Black Cardiologists this year. And as you said, we're emphasizing not only the problem of health disparities within cardiovascular disease, but solutions. We talk about solutions and community-based solutions. A lot of people think because just, you know, we're all humans. We have the same in body parts, right? And, and so that there really shouldn't be any disparities. But there are yeah. some when it comes to people who are of different races and genders as well. Yeah. Why, why do we have that? It's just, is it the way we're raised? Is it some, certain genetics? Yeah. Why, are there, why are there the disparities? Well, it's complex. But I'd say that African Americans have a higher incidence of cardiovascular disease. We disproportionately have this disease earlier. Hypertension, uh, heart attacks, and strokes occur at an earlier age. And then once we're diagnosed, our outcomes are worse. Um, we think about diet. We think about some of the social and structural issues within our society. Multifactorial, but we're trying to hit each of these in terms of this meeting, disseminating the information, and then as we lead into our weekend health fair. And that's the big thing going on, getting people in there, getting them tested and treated as well, just to bring some awareness to yeah. it. So they say maybe they have an idea about their bodies, like maybe, okay, I have, I have this, or I'm, I'm prone to this, or yeah. I have a disposition for this. Just to get that information is just vital. Absolutely. We talk about know your numbers. It's not just good enough to say, well, my blood pressure is fine, but we want to know what your blood pressure is, if you're diabetic, what your hemoglobin A1C. So we really want to make people aware of the numbers that sh they should be following for their disease states. So after the symposium on, on the 19th and the 20th, on the 21st is this big weekend health yeah. fair where people can get together. What opportunities will there be for, and we have the information on the screen right yeah. now, what opportunities will there be there for people to come in and what type of screenings will they see? So that's 11 to three at South Point Hospital on Saturday the 21st. Yeah. That's an opportunity for people to learn about healthful eating, uh, to learn about uh, how they can identify hypertension, the steps to go about identifying hypertension. But we'll also have some wraparound because we know that there's a social and uh, economic structure uh, to these disparities. And so financial literacy, uh, and we'll educate people on how they can better take care of themselves. Because obviously financial, that can bring a lot of stress to a person. That, that can bring some of those premature things that you would you would not want to have deal with. Yeah. So at South Point Hospital, and you're going to get... And, and There'll obviously be another follow-up on this as well, because once you get the information, you have to be able right. to do something with it. That's right, exactly. So we want people to know their numbers by the time they leave. We'll have heart and vascular screenings. You'll know what your blood pressures are. And if your blood pressures are abnormal, we're giving you follow-up instructions in your whatever your respective healthcare system is. But we want you to see your primary care physician. Knowing what your numbers, that's the key to this process. And this will be open for anybody who wants open to go. Open to anyone. Yeah. Registration is free. Parking is free, show up, get screened, um, and attend. We know that uh, community network is an increasingly important part yeah. of, of uh, healthy living. And so this is an opportunity to network within the community. So let's get the information back up on the screen one more time. It is the Cleveland Clinic over at South Point Hospital. Saturday, October 21st, 11 to 3 is the Community Heart Fair. Free health screenings, free activities as well, free information. And that information is so key to helping you live a longer life. It truly is, Todd. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Dr. Kirksey. Appreciate that as well.